Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Some of you guys are definitely, uh, I'm hearing specific, yeah, okay. The Queen of Cups, <clears throat> the Three of Swords, and the Queen of Swords is here, and the Fool. Something here is ending. The Fool normally represents, of course, a brand new beginning, but something here is ending. Um, you could be someone who's very, very, you know, nurturing, very intuitive, um, a dreamer with the Fool card being here, a dreamer here. But for some people, I feel like your emotions or this is the emotions of someone else it can be somewhat of a toxic trait for them i feel like spirit wants you right now in this new passion and beginning to make sure that you're not holding on to heartbreak or pain and also that you're not allowing heartbreak and pain um or, or just any type of emotional disharmony stop or slow you down or keep you chained to anything that may be toxic um there's a queen of swords here for some of you you are needing to be more in this queen of swords energy where there are some things that maybe you need to look at them more objectively and some things more subjectively um make sure that you're not just in your heart about things but you're also getting in your head for some of you you don't need to be so much in your head and you need to be more in your heart take it however it resonates but make sure that you are really tuning in to your higher self um looking at things from a different perspective here in order for you to embrace some type of brand new passionate beginning now i just heard um oh so she really is better okay i don't know where this coming from for some of you Okay, because I'm saying this right now and I'm hearing it. Oh, so she really is better. Someone is has someone may be having a conversation. Wow, this came in so strongly. Oh, so she really is better. So like I just said, dang, that came in so strongly. Okay. <laughs> um, some of you guys could have someone, and, and that's interesting because there's two queens out here, the queen of cups and the queen of swords and the devil. Someone could be a bit obsessed with you. And they could feel like, yeah, if you have some type of brand new passionate beginning here where you are in an, in um, a time or you're going into a period of your life where there's going to be a lot of, I'm hearing generosity, um, a lot of people will be generous with you. This could be in your friendships, your relationships. You could just be more gentle, more kind, more generous with yourself, honestly. It doesn't have to have anything to do with another person. But I do see where, yeah, and here's the hangman with the three of swords and the three of cups here okay so there's definitely some type of third party situation that's happening i feel like there's about to be a breakthrough throw because some i just heard very clearly oh so she really is better i feel like for some of you you had a person could be anyone who is competing with you i feel like with the three of wands here that's usually speaking of your ships coming in you manifesting something someone here is really having a change of heart or a change of perspective about you because they are realizing that wow the sun the ten of cups and the four of wands i could not make this up so you're being rewarded with something or recognized for something and someone is realizing now that yeah it is it's true that you really are exactly who they thought you were you know how some people say oh well this person they think that they're this they think that they're... someone now they're realizing that you're all of what they think that you think you are and more okay because i yeah th but this there's somebody else here this, this seems to be like a third party situation there's not a masculine energy out here just yet unless the masculine is possibly this capricorn energy the devil card that's here in case you guys didn't know, though, Capricorn um, is actually a very feminine sign. Even male Capricorns, they're more in a feminine energy. Oh, so she really is better. So someone has been watching you. Someone I feel has been watching you, paying close attention to you, building something, you creating something. I hear, I just heard curating something. Okay. And whatever it is that has a lot to do with your overall stability, security, it's bringing you the ultimate wish fulfillment. There's a clean slate here, but someone here is, I feel, telling another person that has a very toxic tie or connection to you. Oh, well, she, she really is better. So for some of you, this could be, I hate to use the word, but I'm just going to say it. This could be like someone's karmic partner. All right. You could have a, a masculine or a feminine that, you know, you have some type of energetic cord 
with and whoever they are with is possibly watching you and they're saying oh well she really is better so you guys are either coming into some type of abundance or or you already have someone has been keeping a close eye on you and they're realizing now with the hangman here that also whatever your ships are that are coming in despite any type of heartache or pain you still have good things coming so it's very hard for a lot of people to constantly um say that you're a bad person or you know wish ill on you because despite all of that you still have the four wands the ten of cups and the sun so many of you right now you're about to go into a period of having i mean the ultimate wish fulfillment like you're gonna be just in total bliss with whatever this is whether it's in your career your home life um your business whether it's your health and fitness of course right now a lot of people are thinking about their new year's resolutions but a lot of those i think a lot of people have reset before now you know this is this is a, the the calendar gear that's ending but you know Honestly, I feel like by the time the springtime comes with the sun, when we're out completely out of winter, um, you guys are going to see like a huge, huge change. So right now, make sure that you are really um, setting those goals, those standards, those expectations, and you're working hard towards whatever you want because you're in the prime time. I'm here. It's the prime time. I'm. This is a really old song. Wow, I'm just getting so many messages right now. Um okay so i think that's janelle Jan janelle bonet the song is called prime time and she said it's the prime time for our love okay so for for you guys it's prime time for you okay it's like in your life now is the you're in your prime right now or you're about to enter a season of truly being in your prime it's like your destiny is calling all you have to do now is make that move now the four of pentacles is here with the empress and the tower the wheel of fortune i feel like this four of pentacles if there's been anything that has been holding you back divine intervention is here to turn their will for you the four of pentacles also i feel has a lot to do with your overall foundation if you've had any type of issues like with finances or something like that that's about to really really change for you the four of pentacles um is about sometimes like kind of holding on to money needing to be careful about how you what you do with your resources um it also can just be holding back okay some of you right now i feel like when it comes to your life you've been holding back it's like you need to be comfortable now with taking up space as people say be very comfortable with being who you are i feel like for some people here it's actually been a situation where you've been stalked you've been um I just heard hack like you people have been so obsessed with you for so long and they've taken your kindness for weakness with this queen of cups that now it's like as you're moving forward some of the, it's, it's giving very much like imposter syndrome where you probably have been in an energy for a long time of being afraid of truly stepping out being your true authentic self just because you face so much judgment, criticism, and also there's been so much stuff that has been done to you. But what this is showing me with these cards here is that that's a lot of energy that's not here. So make sure that, again, you're being mindful of what's in the head and what's in the heart, truly, because something here is an illusion, and it's also an illusion that has been painted that you're not exactly who you say you are or who the other people say you were because somebody is saying oh she really is better now this could be related to a man too but i feel like everyone with the page of swords here is seeing that yes you're a great catch like whatever you do is great you have the midas touch whatever you touch it turns to gold so somebody's lies about you is not it's not adding up pretty much i do feel though that um it's very interesting though there is not a masculine energy out here so that tells me that for some of you if this has something to do possibly with a partnership there is a masculine who has been completely in the dark about who you truly are i feel like there's been a lot of chaos magic i talked about this a few weeks ago to be very mindful of a lot of the rituals that will be done close to the end of the year just sending a lot of um illusions chaos magic and things like that just so that you don't have peace because without that peace of mind it's very difficult for you to manifest and this is a time of year where you really need to be manifesting make sure that you're very clear about what you would like to do and manifest especially just over the next 90 days um it can be very hard sometimes to try to manifest 20 years out try to break your goals down but 
something is coming in for you right now that is it's amazing and it's very hard for anybody to try and say that you're not you're not a, a, an amazing person here you have the page of wands i feel like with the empress being here and the page of wands with the tower being right behind it it's it's the prime time right now it's time for you to move in a new direction you have accomplished a lot here you've accomplished this is not an initiation you are receiving a huge upgrade here you've accomplished a lot and it's no secret that you are like this angel of peace of balance and of harmony or you have this angelic presence that's entering your life right now to make sure that you have all of this peace balance and harmony this temperance card i fell under the ten of cups and the four of wands so some of you are definitely resolving issues like within your home within your family you may be preparing for home life family life or something like that these are the things that are coming in for you but whoever has been on the outside looking in trying to say that you are not worthy of good things and especially if they've been doing um really really horrible things to you in the background this is coming out and somebody i feel like someone is actually accepting defeat when it comes to going against you honestly yeah, look at that justice <laughs> and the seven of pentacles. Somebody is just like, I can't beat this person. Somebody is realizing that you have won. And even if they don't realize it, I feel like you're about to receive something that is going to be on such a grand scale that someone just knows, okay, no matter what they've done in the background, this temperance card, I'm getting alchemy. Someone here could have been trying to manipulate energy or time um, creating illusions here definitely could have been shape shifting, um, and just playing a lot with, with with energy in the background to try and cause an imbalance in your life. The Seven of Pentacles being here underneath the Three of Swords. Someone here has worked a very long time and invested a lot in trying to cause you to have interferences, heartache, pain, you know, breakups, third party situations or whatever. And the reason why they did this is because they wanted to delay you because they saw this four ones, 10 of cups, the sun coming in. They saw all of this goodness coming in. So again, the queen of pentacles is here. Okay. I feel like somebody was, I feel like someone was actually spending money on possibly trying to block a person. Someone was spending money on watching someone, spying on someone, um, trying to learn things about a particular person you have the six of cups here and the six of wands this could be someone from your past who is noticing you right now have some type of level up in your life maybe you're being celebrated or you're celebrating but the six of wands comes after the five of wands so you're out of this energy the the conflict the chaos the competition you're in a lane by yourself as you always have been but there is a very strong message from Spirit right now saying that you need to make sure that you are not afraid to shine at this time at all. Do not be afraid to shine because here we have the page of pentacles, the queen of pentacles and the star. So, oh, and the ace of pentacles, three of pentacles. Wow. So any two of cups, jeez, eight of wands. Someone is being completely like kicked out of your energy. Um, This person has no choice. Look, yeah. Everything is fine. Someone here is finally at a crossroads. They're facing judgment. Someone here actually could go to jail, I feel, because they've been hacking, stalking you and spying on you so much. Someone is is re realizing the truth is that you are better. You are. And, and nobody wants to say like, oh, you're better than someone else. But someone is realizing that there is. What they have tried to convince themselves about you and other people, it's a bold-faced lie, and there is absolutely no way that they can support it. Now, there were some readings where I was saying, for some of you, you've been scapegoated, um, even in like illegal and criminal type of activities, or people have tried to get you in trouble on your job, or whatever the case is. You soon are about to receive, like, I just heard paperwork, but you're receiving some type of paperwork, documentation, confirmation um this also could be an offer of some sort that's really going to allow you to go into this phase of healing and really being the star because this ace of pentacles is bringing in something that is is big for you some of you are about to receive some type of settlement you may not even know about this settlement i also feel that you have a relationship that's coming in that's going to move quite quickly Okay, everything is fine here. So even with 10 swords in your back spirit, it's like everything is fine. And the reason why everything is fine is because the energies that have been attacking you for so long, they now are being blinded. Okay, um, if people have been sending you the evil eye, like they're going completely blind. They can't see you. I'm also hearing like people 
who have been trying to spy and pry into your life, they can't see. They're losing their gift, talent, and ability that they had that they've been using for the wrong reasons to look into your life. Okay, yeah, these people now, they are completely blinded. They, they're they stuck at a standstill now because they can't see you. They can't watch you. So what this is giving me for sure is that someone has lost access when it comes to watching you. That's the truth. And for what they can see, how you fought such a good fight, they know that you are the truth. Someone knows like you've been tested, tried and true. And it's because of whatever you are receiving. Somebody already, yeah, someone has to ex accept defeat with the five of swords here. Because no matter how much instability has been in your life, no, much, no matter how many people have deceived you, betrayed you or whatever, you're still standing firmly in your purpose. You're still abundant. The nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles is out here. So look at this. We have nine, nine, nine. That is the end of a karmic cycle. And it's ending with the ten of pentacles. With you being completely on top, you inheriting everything that was always yours from the start, Ace of Swords. So this is a brand new, beautiful, passionate beginning for you. Yeah, this is the end of all of the chaos. Whoever has been competing with you, whatever groups have come against you, the envy, the slander, the defamation of character, whatever, that's all over. And you will be receiving confirmation of this. It's it's like a, it, it's a token or some type of reward that is coming to, to you. Um... Because of your strength, you have the strength to walk away from something or you simply have the strength to just go on a journey. OK, and that probably meant that you had to leave everything behind. And so now it's like you're going into this brand new beginning where there won't be any troubles here. You're dropping a lot of the burdens because whatever this cycle is, you you gain all of the tools and resources that you need to manifest exactly what you want. You never have to look back at this situation. And someone here is there. Someone is upset. They're completely over whatever this is that they've done to you. I feel like someone here is being stopped by the divine from doing something to you. But I don't think that they have the same passion, the will or the desire to fight you because somebody knows like this battle is completely over. It's just over. There's nothing that they can do to you because that's what what did I say before. Because I heard I heard somebody say, oh, so she really is better. Somebody just knows that. They cannot beat you. Okay. So you're, you're, you're better at your job. You're, and it's not about better. I, I don't like to say that. That's what I heard. But me, you know, you guys that are listening, I'm not saying that anyone is better than someone else, but when it comes to whatever this trickery or this foolery is that someone has done, them saying that they're better is simply them saying that they have to accept that they've been defeated and they have no choice now, but to surrender. Now, the like the tower card came out next to the empress this is more like divine intervention but i feel like in the background something has happened to another person where they know for a sure fact they have to stop what they're doing for some of you someone for they're either like going to they they they're facing possibly like jail time somebody here is being stuck okay they could be having financial issues they could be um facing like jail time they're going through heavy karma. And I think that someone is finally about to realize that the reason why they are experiencing this karma is because of what they've done to you. Now, going back to the fact that there is no like actual masculine energy out here. For some of you, this is a masculine that you've been connected to. This person has possibly been going through karma and they are now realizing that the reason why they're going through this karma is because of how they came up against you. There's a reason why there is no masculine energy out here. This could be because it's all about another like uh, feminine energy that's going up against a divine feminine here. Um, but this also could be a masculine who has been like really trying to do everything to stop and block a divine feminine. This masculine has no choice but to accept defeat. Like, you're not going to stop this person from moving forward. It's impossible. Yeah, five of pentacles and the two of cups here. So for some of you, this could be someone that you were in a relationship with at some point. Um, they could have left you out in the cold. They could have picked someone else over you. It's heavy third party energy out here. OK, and you may have had the, the strength to just walk away from this situation or you will soon be walking away from this situation for good. I just saw the eight of cups. OK, but someone is like, dang, you know, I just can't stop that person. Like 
the, yeah, the moon here, the eight of cups. Someone here is coming to the realization that if, especially if you walked away from someone, someone is finally tapping in with the moon card and they're seeing the truth. They're getting clarity about some type of lie or illusion that either they've been told or they created that you did the right thing to walk away from this person or this situation. Someone here has been acting as if you did the wrong thing by walking away. Definitely third party with this four of pentacles being here. Someone has been watching and monitoring and spying on someone in a relationship. Okay. Someone could have been in a relationship and their person was very much aware of you because someone is, is, you know, very much interested in you and your divine type of energy so it just it seems again like you know you have a person that you once had a connection with they're realizing that their chances with you are probably slim to none and then they're also whoever they are with is also realizing that like they cannot beat you so this is like a couple realizing that they can't beat you this is a you know a group of friends a family people at the job you're just undefeated okay <laughs> like the people have done everything to you and it's clear like you're the undefeated champ here. They have no choice but to walk away. And I, I definitely sense here there's some people who have come against you. If they've had access to you because of some type of devices, if they've had access to you because they were spying on you spiritually, like they can't see they they can't see anything. It's something about this shift in energy where like people they just cannot tap into your energy. This could simply just be because right now you're you're healing, you're growing, evolving and ascending at such a rapid pace that like negativity, it just cannot penetrate you the same. That's why I tell you guys, be very mindful of what you think, because the people who have wished ill on you, who have bad intentions, the people who have been watching you, stalking you, spying you on you, they can't do it anymore because see, this is what a lot of you don't realize is that. The way so many people were able to stop and block your, your, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know why it seems like every time I do readings, all of a sudden I have to clear my throat. Somebody probably does not want these messages to come out. Of course, someone doesn't like the fact, cause I could just see in the cards to the, um, 10 of swords, five of pentacles, eight of swords. Somebody wished something very bad for you, which was for you to be out in the cold, having financial issues. Somebody may have even wished that you would possibly go insane or be incarcerated or something somebody also could have tried to bind themselves like buying bad karma to you or something like that somebody had a lot of access to you um energetically or some of you someone literally that they were just spying on you you know uh, this could have been monitoring spirits this could have been devices in your home someone definitely had access to watch you monitor you could have been a tracker on your car or something Okay, those are the physical things, but also spiritually, somebody was sending something to keep a close eye on you. That's not there anymore. So it's, it has become impossible for these people to stop you because they don't know what leaps of faith you're actually taking because they can't see it or access it anymore. Praise God, right? <laughs> you know, I just got this deck. So before I move on um to this deck here because i just got this new evil eye oracle deck this is a big deck i already cleansed this deck but let's just see what comes out because this has a lot to do with evil eye energy manipulation um hacking stalking but i mean people have gone very very far to try and keep you blocked in some type of way but it's like now um whatever it is happening for you or coming into fruition for you in the future somebody just knows like there, there's nothing else that they can do they can and people who are dependent on your energy they will know what is going well for you based on how their life starts to decline believe it or not and i feel like somebody is receiving karma and they're they're realizing that the ex what they're receiving karma for is for you they know that okay black sage it says heavy aroma the power to draw your energy and consciousness into other realms protection when astral traveling so for some of you someone here could have been um astral traveling to you like i said now 
you're most likely really cleansing and clearing your space. Your energy is being cleared. All right. You're you're stepping into a higher level of consciousness and awareness. So people who have been um, astral traveling and projecting, you know, coming into your dreams and all of that, they're being blocked out. OK, some of you could have had um, issues with. Um, like you're fit, balancing your feminine and masculine energy. Now, this card says intimacy, intimacy issues. STD, UTI, infertility, common infections. This could be someone that you know. And it says you already know who this person is. Tap into your intuition. So you guys um, probably know a person that has. A, this may give you some type of sign. This could be someone here who, you know, could be spiritually gifted. But they don't use it for the right reasons. But this person could have, you know, issues. What somebody here has been doing, you guys, is they've been doing a lot of energy manipulation with like your sacral chakra, your solar plexus. They're trying to tap into your life force energy, but especially your sacral energy, because as a divine feminine, that's where your reproductive organs is. That's the womb. Somebody here has possibly been trying to send some type of bad juju to you so that, you know, you would have issues with intimacy or infertility this is a lot of womb magic fertility magic and stuff like that that has been happening this also could just be um what is going on with someone else this could be their karma for what they've done to you but most likely whatever someone has done to you is being the exact thing is happening to them tenfold i feel like um i just heard um mm. <laughs> that's crazy so somebody is being haunted at right now by like what is being done. I feel like karma is going to someone with a message and your name is is at the bottom of that message. It's like, you want to know where this came from? I'm telling you exactly where it came from. Like someone, your spiritual team is on somebody like hard and heavy right now. And they're making it clear. This is for my baby. You did this to my to mine i'm hearing to mine so yeah so, so you guys your spiritual team they're they're standing firmly in supporting you and whatever you do right now and they're like this is what you did to my child this is what you this for some of you this could be um you know if you have a parent a grandparent that has passed on they're like this is what you did to my baby so i'm gonna come in and i'm gonna do the same thing to you because i want you to know why you're receiving this karmic beat down they're like your spiritual team is making sure that this person, they don't think that it's, oh, you know, maybe it's just this or that. No, they're like, no, <laughs> you're getting this because of what you did to my, my child, my baby. Make no mistakes about it. Causing you to act out of character, irrational emotions, mood swings. That's the chaos magic. This is all the stuff I just said. Yeah. Chaos, magic, fertility, womb, and all kinds of stuff here. But see, your energy has been cleared. So you're um, also, too, a lot of these people, they've done things to try to tap into your intuition and your dreams. All they've done really is increase all of your psychic powers and they've increased your protection. Okay. The person, oh, it says a feminine hater and the person causing you negativity is an earth sign. All right. So this could be an earth sign person. That queen of pentacles has been coming out in our readings for a long time. And it says here you have a family or generational curse. So for some of you, you have possibly an earth sign feminine hater. This could be some like a karmic energy from a past life and it's coming to you because of a family or generational curse. This is something, um, some type of karmic debt that you had to pay in this lifetime due to this situation in possibly a past life or not even just necessarily in the past life. This is just a, a generational curse or family curse or hex or whatever that you were chosen to heal. So you're constantly battling this energy here. And it says your significant other is sending you negativity. Practice a return to sender or protection rit um, ritual. Business rival can't stand your grind and hustle. Listen to this, y'all. This is what I'm saying. And so it says pyrite. It helps shield you from the harmful effects that technology have on the mind and body. This is actually pyrite. 
Okay. Um, but for some of you, like I said, you have people who have been watching you, stalking you, spying on you. They're definitely trying to watch your money. Okay. Hating on your successful choices. And then you have amethyst. I'm, I don't like to just go through a bunch of cards in a deck like this. So I'm not going to do that. But you guys may, if you're into crystals, maybe you want to consider um, pyrite, amethyst, and maybe black sage because it's out here. Um, be mindful of a, an earth sign. Now, earth sign, it says this person is a feminine hater. Keep in mind, a feminine hater could be a male or female. Like As I said before, Capricorn is more of a feminine sign. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. Okay, um, there are certain signs that are considered feminine and masculine so this could be an earth sign male that's doing this also this person doesn't have to be an earth sign in their sun sign meaning you know they don't have to be capricorn virgo taurus they could have this as a rising sign moon um venus mars or anything so like i said for some of you this could be a woman this also could be a man all right um this is someone who talks a lot behind your back though they they hate a lot on like your success, what you do for work and things like that. I feel for a lot of you, this could be a past situation. It's coming up so strongly now because you're actually receiving, car you're receiving karmic justice for it. Okay. So for some of you, I'm hearing specifically, this is something that could have happened even as far back as three years ago, maybe even more. For some of you, this reading is probably just going to give you confirmation as to who has been really in the background doing this for a lot of you this is a lover now i have to say this is a very cowardly like type of man if this is a man ma this person has not come out in this reading as masculine the reason why this person i i feel like this for some of you is a man and a woman take it how it resonates but i want you guys to beware a lot of people don't discuss how often men participate in spell work, witchcraft and things like that, or how they hate and uh, how, yeah, how they, they strongly dislike women. This for some is, is a man who has a lot of issues with women, but they actually operate in a more feminine energy. Okay. So you could be looking at a lot of readings and you're not thinking that it's this, this man, possibly you're always, your mind automatically goes to, oh, well, it's a female. It's a female. This could be an actual man that's in this feminine energy. This could also be the mother of a man that you've been with or their wife, girlfriend, ex or whomever. All right. Um, there's a lot of different energies here, but again, this is someone here who cloaks themselves very well, whoever this is, because if it's a man, this man cloaks himself. I feel like this is the kind of man who sends women out to do a lot of his dirty work, but he's the one that is behind it. Because in these cards here, there's an energy behind these cards. Like, like I'm, I'm seeing it very clearly here. You guys don't see it, but I see it. this energy. He's standing behind this, this energy on this table. There's a man standing behind this. It's, it's the woman, the woman, the woman, the woman. No, there's a man behind this. There's a, a man that has mentally, has mind control over another woman who they have doing things to you. Or this is simply just a man who's paying a priestess or, you know, a dark witch or somebody to do work to you. But it, it's it's because this, this person has control over the mind of this other person that they have decided to turn against you, someone that you probably don't even know. And let me just tell you what I'm, what I'm seeing here strongly. I see for some of you, this is a past lover. They connected with somebody else who may also be very um, intuitive. They told that person lies about you. They came together, they slandered your name and they did different things. They definitely could have been into some spell work and other things. Okay. What I get from this, though, is that whoever this man, specifically a man, partnered up with and turned this person very cold and, and angry towards you because of lies, and they did all of this magic, you know, the wound magic and everything else, whoever that woman is now is suffering a great deal for what this masculine, this man had them doing towards you if this the same energy has been come there's a big lie that has been told by a group of people by um a family but specifically there is a partnership here 
a man and a woman who were together at some point who decided to come up against you. This man, though, thought he was a mastermind because, like I said, he hides behind other women to do work on on you, most likely, if this reading is resonating. He's done all of this because he's angry with your life choices. But this was something that this was a, a something you had to battle in order to break some type of curse, because what this actually did is it made you level up. But you know who this person is. Yeah, this is a significant other of yours, possibly from the past. This person, they don't like the fact that you're you're grinding and you're hustling. They don't want you to be in your life purpose. And I feel that for some of you, you know, this could be um, some narcissism that's present here. And that's probably part of the reason now why some of you guys, you have... It's difficult for you to really stand stand up and stand out because it's almost like, you know, that fear, that mental blockage. Like you feel like whatever you do is going to fail because you've had someone in the background for so long working against you, trying to make sure that you fail at certain things. This is a lot of just chaos, magic, a lot of illusions here, but this is all coming to an end. You're receiving karmic justice and you'll know because some of these people, like I said, exactly what they did to you is going to be done unto them or the people that they care about the most. But it's going to be much worse, much worse. Yeah, seven of wands. You're very much protected and you've turned your back on this situation. Why? Because the three of wands is here. You already know that you have something coming in. There's a huge manifestation coming in for you. Oh, wow. Wow. And it's the two of cups and the two of pentacles is here. So for some of you, you have a, um, you have someone who is very, very upset because you have options in love. The magician is here. Yeah. Two, two, two. You could be seeing two, two, two a lot. The magician is here. We have the two of cups, the two of pentacles and the two of wands. There is a faded meeting here. OK, now I'm also seeing for some of you going back to if you really resonate with this being a karmic feminine energy, like an actual woman. For some of you, this is a woman who is extremely upset with you because it is it's obvious that your connection with a particular masculine, it is something that is or it was at some point um, destined. You may not want to go down that path with this person, but this could be a new person or an old person in your life. You have a person that has been watching you very closely trying to block you because they could have actually gotten ghosted by their partner because their partner is wanting to invest in you or their partner has always been heavily invested in you even if they're not in contact with you okay two 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 this is about a decision someone here has to decide between two different people this other person though though has been in the background has most likely been doing a lot of spell work magic manipulation and other things to try and stop someone from taking action here the page of wands the temperance yeah and the eight of wands very very fast moving energy here someone is about to come in very excited and passionate about trying to balance a situation with you okay some of you, this is actually a fairly new person in your life. I feel like this person at times, they, they may sort of blow hot and cold. They may ghost you a little bit. This is because this person still has the energy of this karmic feminine around them. But I think that right now, y'all, you're just chilling. The four of swords, and, as you should, because you already know six of wands, ace of wands, victory and success is yours. You are the high priestess here. So the five of cups, this is saying here, all is not lost. Don't get caught up on crying over spilled milk. The high priestess is here, the justice and the ace of swords. And here is the queen of swords with the ten of cups. So this queen, look, the ace of pentacles. Somebody, this is why this person is saying, so she really is better. Because the truth is, is that you're the high priestess and you're receiving justice. You're receiving justice while this person is about to have um, a series of events that are all going to result in a lot of endings. While you're going to be extremely happy, Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, this person here was very cold hearted, very malicious, very unkind, very mean, ruthless. <clears throat> the moon here, the King of Pentacles and the Tower. Okay. Now you see it said before 
the person causing negativity is an earth sign, right? A feminine hater. And this is a feminine hater. And I, when I hear, when I see the card feminine hater, even that the use of, of words can be interpreted. This is someone who could hate women who are feminine. This is also someone here. Um, yeah, it, it just hates like divine feminines. Could be male or female. But look at what came out. We have the moon card here, the king of pentacles and the tower. There is a king of pentacles. I'm telling you this feminine hater here. This earth sign person, for some of you, is a female, but for some of you, this is a man. This man is about to experience a lot of destruction in their life. This king of pentacles, who's in a feminine energy because of what they've done. This person has been astral traveling and projecting towards you. Yeah, it's it's clear here. To me, for a lot of you, it's half and half. For a lot of you, this is a man who operates in feminine energy that has been doing these things to you, but this person for sure has partnered up with other feminine energies. So this is like a, a group of people who just have a problem with you being a true divine feminine and you receiving the 10 of pentacles. You being single, self-sufficient, abundant in your life purpose, the fact that you don't call on anyone for anything, you're passionate, okay, you're very resilient. Someone is upset about that. So you have a man who got very upset with your will to move forward in life. Some of you, this is an ex, you know, spouse of yours. They teamed up with somebody else who possibly participates in spell work, magic or whatever. They came against you together. And I feel like they're both sitting down realizing like this person is just better. We cannot beat this person. And they're, this is coming because of this huge ace of pentacles. So something with your money, with your level, there's something about your life that is about to drastically, drastically change. OK, either you have like the the romance of a lifetime, the opportunity of a lifetime or all of it. And I just cut the deck and here is the Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. So this is you being very focused and driven. So this has something to do with, with abundance, with good fortune, a huge like career opportunity. Some of you are signing some really big deals or contracts. You could be made. This car says a significant purchase like a home or vehicle. All right. You're receiving this because you are very intentional in your manifestations. And despite these people trying to wish the worst for you, um, it didn't work. So you're you're receiving a huge, huge reward. And you will know based on your reward, I feel for some of you, just how much was actually done to you in the background. Some of you are about to receive huge rewards. And that's going to be confirmation for you that some some of these people have invested a lot. And trying to stop and block you. And when they receive their karma, like I said, they're going to know exactly where it look. Because you reap what you sow, the seven of pentacles. You planted good seeds and they planted really bad seeds. So you're, you're going to be rewarded. You're going to receive your harvest. Because you were patient and you remain kind in this situation. And they're going to receive... <laughs> exactly what they invested in as well they're going to receive their return on their investment and it's going to be the tower someone's entire life is going to be shaken like this person going to be shaken to the core yeah and here you have the dreamer the justice card and wise counsel there you have it brand new this is karmic justice for you because you stood up for what you believe in or you're being advised now to stand up you're you're a person of wise counsel okay you could be in a spiritual community okay but you i feel like a lot of you you've gone to other people of wise counsel or you you've just been communicating directly with god with your spiritual team about this brand new beginning you didn't allow anyone else to shift or change your perspective about what you knew was right for you to do you stayed true and, and noble. Like I said, you were tested, tried, and, and, and proven as true in a situation here. So justice for you is you going, having this level up as a dreamer. It's a brand new start. So make sure in this new start, you're not afraid because some of you, I can tell the energy here, you oftentimes get afraid to take leaps of faith because every time you've taken a leap of faith you've been met with some type of opposition because of these people in the background trying to you know do things to sabotage you these people they hold no power okay whatever unfair advantage that they had before they no longer have it yeah because you're being rewarded here the three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles it's time for you to go ahead now and do whatever it is that you love 
The three of pentacles is you need to go out, mix, mingle, network, work with other people. When it comes to your abundance, stop letting these people make you afraid to go out and live your absolute best life. Some of you guys, you've been knowing that someone has been spying on you. So you, you, you're you afraid to do certain things. Some of you guys are afraid to even move around in your house a certain way. Because although you know, you haven't discovered the cameras, you feel watched all the time. So these devices or monitoring spirits or whatever, all of this stuff is about to be cut out. If spirit so much as has to, to take you completely out of your home, out of your environment, your car, to it's like these people, they're just not going to have access to you anymore. And whatever this is, like I said, it's coming quickly with this Knight of Wands. This has a lot, though, to do with you being very confident, very passionate, very confident. And whatever is coming for you, you're going to have to take immediate action. This is not something that you can sit on and ponder on. You've already done the work, Eight of Pentacles. Do not allow yourself to be confused. Don't procrastinate. Don't overanalyze it. Just get straight to it, okay? Just get to it. The Seven of Cups is here, yeah, with the Three of Wands and the Four of Wands, exactly. And standing behind it is the Ego card, yeah. There is no more being trapped. If you think that you're trapped, that's simply just an illusion, you're going to have to accept responsibility for your situation. Forgive these people. Forget them. Move on. Let it go. But there's a lot for you to celebrate. And that's the only thing that you really should be focused on right now is planning for your long-term success. So whenever this opportunity comes to you, act on it quickly. Don't think about the past. Don't wonder, is somebody watching me? Don't wonder, you know, is that person going to take you to court? Don't worry about it. Just go. This a spirit is saying, just go. The very first card was the fool. Just take this leap of faith. That's all you have to do. Because whatever was blocking you before, I think the reason that I did yesterday, I was saying the, the gatekeepers, these gate, the, the crooked, wicked gatekeepers, they can't, they can't hold you back. That's why they're saying, oh, she really is better. Yeah, because... He, you, whether he or she, they can't stop whatever this is. I already told you the battle has already been won. Whatever is for you, it's 100% yours. All you have to do is say yes. That's it. It's yours. So please be, be encouraged, okay? I hope that this gives you a little bit of clarity, confirmation, you know, about whatever this situation is. Um... Like I said, the, there's a different twist to the story. It can resonate differently for everyone, of course. But um, the, the biggest takeaway here is that you're not blocked. <laughs> that illusion of you being trapped is, is an illusion that, you know, is being cleared away for you. Um, and just be mindful of anything coming back, you know, from the past Um and or just it's the energy you guys pay attention to the energy because you can have a brand new person that comes into your life but they're very much like a past energy that resonates with some type of karmic energy or cycle that you're getting out of so pay attention to not the person not the place the thing but just the energy associated and attached to it okay so um let's see is there anything else let me see um, I don't know. I'm feeling like I want to see what these cards say. You have your grieving. Good luck. I didn't try to pull these cards, but it came out grieving here and good luck. Someone is grieving because of all of your good luck. There's two cards that came out with this deck. They weren't supposed to come out. Um, know that you are loved. Trust that all will be well. Yeah. Somebody here, they tried to do everything to block your good luck, your fortune for some of you fame. They're grieving now and they're like, wow, you really are the truth. I did a reading last year and it was a reading where I was talking. I actually in that reading was reading out of. Um, I, I, there were scriptures that came to me at that time and I was talking a lot about the story of Esther. You can find that reading on my channel. I think it's like tested, tried and true. But th that's that same energy. Like I said, it's a lot of past energy. As I do the readings the last few days, I've noticed that I, Spirit will instantly take me back to a reading that I did like a year or two years ago um, as a reminder. But you've been proven as true. After being tested and tried, you've been proven as the truth. No one can deny that. Yeah, full moon and Leo go wild. Look at that lion there. This is you embodying this lion or lioness type of energy. Okay, because you defeated like these beasts in your life. But this was some type of beast that you had to defeat and, and conquer 
in order to break some type of generational curse in order to break that there, there's some type of karmic energy from from your past that there's ancestral or generate you know a generational curse or whatever new moon and leo shine there's a heavy heavy leo energy here the person that could have been doing this to you could have leo heavily aspected in this chart in their chart this could be in your chart okay leo is a sign of being also leo makes me always think of um leo season being in august uh, on the lion's gate portal always so again this has a lot to do with your abundance but it says last quarter moon and cancer take a breather yeah take a breather some of you right now especially with mercury being in retrograde you may feel a little bit tired um it's your body is recovering that's all as, as your mind and your emotions and thoughts kind of look at the past situations don't let it hold you back or hold you down but don't don't be afraid to take a breather, okay? Because you kind of need this this rest because of <laughs> all the things that are about to come come up in your life. It's about to be like a really crazy new year. Take a reality check here: full moon in Capricorn and new moon in Taurus. There's definitely a Taurus, uh, someone here who has. Let me get one more card. That feminine energy still pops out to me. Could be male or female. This person could have Taurus and Leo heavily aspected in their chart. Someone could have Cancer or Capricorn heavily aspected in their chart. I feel like someone um, that has been trying to work against you. Yeah, somebody definitely has Leo and Taurus in their chart. Capricorn too. Cancer is here. I'm hearing cancer could be somebody's like Venus sign. This to me is giving very much like a mother figure. This could be um, for some of you, the person that's been coming to get up against you is the, the, the wife or ex-wife or the mother of someone's children. Someone for some of you, this like a mask and they share a home with this person. Cancer to me, I always think of the mother and home. But Leo here, someone could have a wife, a girlfriend or whatever that's a Leo. And this Leo decided to just go wild when it came to going up against you. This person now is being forced to take a reality check because what they're seeing is that um, you know your worth and obviously they don't. And the first quarter moon is Sagittarius. There could be a Sagittarius out here as well. I'm seeing two different situations, you guys. <laughs> a fire sign masculine. Leo or Sagittarius highly aspected in their chart. Cancer. Mm -hmm. This is a third party situation. Somebody here was married. Somebody was teaming up. With someone that they were married to or had kids with up against a divine feminine. This could have been a, a Taurus man, Capricorn man. These are specific. Someone has Capricorn as a, possibly as a rising sign or in Mars specifically. I don't know. This is just coming to me, you guys. This will resonate with whoever it resonates with. Someone does have a full um, sun sign in Leo. Someone could have Leo as their rising sign. But someone definitely has cancer. Somewhere heavily aspected in their chart. This could be someone. I'm, I'm getting cancers like a Venus. Or rising. I was about to say someone's North Node could be in Leo. But Spirit said this is people who are in their South Nodes. They haven't gotten to their North Node yet. And that's the problem. That's the problem. They can't seem to get out of their South Node. Their karmic energy. They're stuck there.
I want to say too for the cancer energy like that home feminine energy that I'm picking up on some of you have been trying to very hard to embody that type of energy and you should be more in a Leo type of energy in this next season where you are not afraid to go out and really shine you need to know your worth and go out and shine some of you are in this martyr like energy where you're trying to fix and help everything and everyone and you're needing to fix and help and protect yourself and go go wild in your life know your worth and and allow your good luck to come in so you you need to set boundaries here yeah full moon and taurus detoxify so we have taurus and full moon full moon and taurus new moon and taurus so it's definitely a taurus and a leo out here Full moon in Pisces, forgive Pisces, and then I mean Aquarius. Aquarius is coming right after Capricorn, so um, Capricorn season, and then we have Aquarius and then Pisces. So the next three months, trust that all will be well, and just embrace the flow of life. By the time Gemini season comes, your love life is going to be um, very, very different. You're getting in the flow of something very new right now that's going to go very well for you. But you're going to have to get out of the fear of standing out and having boundaries with people and cutting them out. A lot of you, though, whatever you've had a fear of cutting out, it's being cut out anyway. Some of these people also that have been coming against you, when I tell you, they're going to be so um, <laughs> busy dealing with their bad luck. They won't have time to do anything at all to affect your good luck but you have two cards out here that say good luck so you're definitely about to have some good luck okay i just want to pull from these and then i'm gonna close out embrace the flow of life yeah expectation mm -hmm. somebody is possibly um afraid that they may face some jail time yeah you got a mature man here who's been doing a lot of work to cause endings for a main female. This person was going to be in poverty while you're receiving a gift because someone here is receiving a message of concern about your high honor. Someone, like I said, they're realizing that you really are the truth. They've tested you. They've tried you. Somebody here really could be facing like jail time or they're going to go to spiritual jail for sure. Okay. This mature man, this person has been working day and night, night and day to cause endings in your life for a main female. This person wants you to be out in the cold, but instead you're receiving a gift. <laughs> a gift of even higher ranking in the, in the spirit world. Okay. Gifts are not always just about anything monetary. Your spiritual harvest is coming in as well. Courtship. Okay. This is definitely for some of you a significant other of yours, but you also, some of you, um, you have a courtship that's coming in or that you're in now. It's going to lead to marriage. Yep. The house, the security, the stability, you're going to get everything in life that you, that you always wanted and that these people tried to take from you. Um, March and April 420 could be significant to somebody. imprisonment i was just about to say that too um somebody is going to because somebody is about to be stuck and bound to whatever they're doing this is going to bring in a lot of unexpected income from you and a new relationship there's a big change coming because whatever blockage has been there you guys is being removed you have two three and four out here so something is aligning for you 20 and 9 and then 29 Hmm. Yeah, there's a big change coming for the main female. I feel like a lot of you are, I don't like, like the term main female. <laughs> I know some people are like, I'm the only one. Today. Yeah, but you're, you're the main female in this crazy show here. Okay. You are going to go into a courtship soon that will lead to marriage. Some of you, like I said, you could already be in there. This is what you can expect. Home life, security, stability. Okay, um, 
good business partnerships and all and things like that because someone here is about to be completely like ousted like kicked out of your life out of your energy for good so you're going to start to see like an inflow of a lot of abundance a lot of love offers are coming i really feel too like someone's spell work has completely backfired somebody possibly did some spell work to end everything in your life and what it actually did now is it has um had and uh a, a, like a, an adverse effect what it actually did is it's pushing you into very very strong connections it's pushing you like way to the top somebody actually helped in your elevation but yeah because you're an official person okay and people now they're very concerned because they're realizing that whatever they did to you it, it was a really bad move because they completely destroyed their life and they set you up for life but it's really not that because i don't like to give credit so much to the enemy it's the work that you put in in defeating this enemy you know this is like the david and goliath type of energy this is their energy of esther like in the bible you know you being steadfast you knowing that you are free and sovereign is the reason why you're receiving this you kick this you 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 slayed this demon and now everybody is finding out you know and for some of you, this is a privileged lady and a family. Like I said, this is someone's wife, the mother of their child. It could be someone's um, mother or something like that. And, and they're sitting back now while they're in bad health. And they're like, oh, now I know. I know now why <laughs> this wealthy man here is about to be going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody here now, they're very concerned about what they've done on this journey. Coming against you, trying to steal from you. Working with this false person for sudden wealth, I'm telling you. And this main male, this was someone that a lot of you, you were supposed to be with. They would have received some type of gift and been accepted into your world, your community, by your angels, guys, and ancestors had they been willing to go the distance. This person, they could not see, they couldn't see the future. This person wanted something quick. That This was a get-rich-quick scheme to work with somebody else, and it landed them in poverty. Poverty that they will be, this person has cursed their entire life and bloodline with poverty for what they've done to you. And because you were able to finally annihilate whatever this is that has been blocking your bloodline and your family, what you've done now is you've reactivated. It's like you had to go back and get, get the crown for your family. Like you're, you're back on the throne, you know? Is that, that's what I'm saying. Like somebody is sitting back on the throne like, okay, yeah, I made it back. 